Now to quickly get rid of all of these shapes and uh, text, you can simply just drag it over all the shapes and then hit the delete button. Now let me just uh, adjust the size of the page a little bit. I can zoom it from here. Now, uh, if you want to arrange the data in more proper form, you have the option to enable rulers. I'll click on file options. You can show margins, you can show rulers, and this is the short key. Shift and R. Now you also have uh, margins that you can enable. Just in case you want to design within these borders, then you can add margins as well. Now again, if you want to uh, show print bleed, print bleed means if you enable it, you can design all of your template just before this line. So that if any printer have different settings, it will not cut off your designs. So this is just a, the safe border for it. So you can enable and disable all of these options from here. But the most useful one is uh, rulers. Now you can see here that we have a very limited editing space. You can increase your editing space by hiding this page and moving this editing area backwards and hiding this area as well if you don't uh, need it right now and afterwards you can zoom it according to your requirements that will make your designing more convenient now if you want to enable the show guides i can click on file and from here you can sort of uh drag from here down here and you can uh, add some margin from here the simplest method is just go to this ruler and hold the left click and start moving towards right. Wherever you want to place it, you can release the mouse here. So you can break this position with the help of rulers so that you can customize it even better. You can divide the page and these rulers are used for the advanced designers, which who wants to design specific areas in each particular boxes they can divide the portions and then start designing their template now for example if i want to insert a shape just within this area i can go to elements and choose any shape for example let me choose this one this box and if i want to fit this box in here it's very convenient for me to design a same amount of uh, the box it's very convenient for me to design the same proportion of the box in each area because of these lines. You can just zoom it a little bit. Let me just zoom it. And you can see that when I adjust the size of it, as soon as it snaps in this line, it will show you the indication with this pink color. So you know where to stop. And same goes for every box that you create. So this is it. Same is the case here. Now, if I want to make, for example, copies of it, uh, you will hold the alternate key and start moving towards right. And this is the my new shape that you need to adjust as well. Now, same goes on for every box that we create. Since we have the indication, we can create the identical sizes and you can move it as well if you don't find it identical in shape. So let me design one more box here just hold the alternate key start moving downwards and you can adjust that like this so this is it uh, this is how you can work on the rulers and the other